Hi everybody, this is going to be a huge video for you today. Before I get into it, if you haven't already downloaded my free ebook Technical Analysis Basics, I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can go and pick it up. This is my website, you click on download ebook, give us your email address and we'll email you a link to download it. Simple and quite helpful. I'm going to look at 15 cryptocurrencies with you. I'm going to run through them really quickly. These are ones I've already purchased years ago. And because um, prices for all of these are at pretty good lows at the moment, I want to have a look and figure out which ones I want to purchase a few more of. Let's start with XRP. This is my main Elliott Wave count for it. And the invalidation point at 29 cents is holding. It had a good upward move last week. Let's have a look at the technicals for it. Weekly chart. This low here, bullish engulfing candlestick pattern, does not have support from volume, that's okay, doesn't have to, a strong upward week, we're starting to see strength off lows. I think this low is probably going to be sustained. What's the current situation? This week is incomplete. Actually, I think I want to look at daily for XRP, yeah, that's better. Wow, what a good volume spike. And then some little dojis, there's a nice gravestone doji. On balance volume making highs with price. ADX indicating an upward trend nowhere near extreme. RSI overbought. How common is that at the daily chart level? Let's take a quick look. Oh, fairly common and doesn't necessarily mean it has to move into a bear market. Could just go sideways to relieve that for a little bit. Money flow index also overbought. Probably can remain there for a while. Well, it has reached overbought. They're both back in neutral territory. ATR increasing. There's strength and upward movement. Stochastics neutral. Is there a candlestick reversal pattern at the low? On the daily chart, yes. Bullish engulfing pattern here and here and here and here. This is almost a morning star. These three candlesticks. Bullish wicks here. Uh, gravestone doji here, pullback, strong hammer candlestick pattern on the last candlestick. Uh, doesn't have support, well it's a downward session so. Okay, I think XRP could certainly move a little bit lower. What's the short term Elliott Wave count? Have I got the daily updated? Yeah, invalidation point 38 cents. This is pretty bullish for this last session. I think I would like to buy a little bit more XRP. I'm going to put a tick next to that one. Not very much, just a little bit more. Next one, Dash. This one I bought a long time ago. How's this doing? Uh, Elliott Wave counts valid. Primary 2's moved lower. It's a very, very, very deep double zigzag. Extremely deep. That's pretty normal. Technicals, how is this looking? At the weekly chart level, bullish engulfing candlestick pattern here and here. Doesn't have support for, oh, no, it doesn't have support for volume, but the following two upward weeks did as it moved off that low. This is the low week beginning 17th of June 2022. Here, nope, didn't have support from volume either. Starting to see some support from volume for upward movement, but also when it moves lower. That's a bit mixed, isn't it? That's rather hard to tell. And at the highs, I see a bearish engulfing pattern here. Here, strong evening star and bearish pattern again here. Okay, that's a little bit mixed. What about the trend? How extreme is that? It is telling us there is no clear trend. Uh, let's look at the weekly chart. Sorry, I'm jumping around a little bit on this one. I really want to get through this quickly. There's just so much. Piercing pattern here, bullish engulfing candlestick pattern there at that low. Did it have support from volume? No, it did not. This candlestick here did not. Volume's pretty light and declining. Price is essentially moving sideways. There's a downward trend in place still, according to ADX. Uh, on balance volume. RSI reached oversold here at the weekly chart level. Has that happened before? Yes, and it wasn't. It was just before a sustained low. So if this isn't the low here, it should be coming up pretty soon for Dash. Stochastics oversold, ATR declining. I think again that low is fairly likely to be sustained, but it's not as clear as the last one. I think I might give that one a miss. I want to be quite selective. Moving on, XMR. 
Elliott Wave count. This one's a lot higher. Primary two, could it be over? That's the question I want to know. What's the price? Just under $150. Let's look at some technicals. Uh, let's look at first the daily chart. Bullish candlestick pattern here engulfing. Did not have support from volume. What about the weekly chart for that last low? Uh, probably not a bullish candlestick pattern there. What's volume doing up off that low? Oh, it is starting to show some increase as price moves higher. Although it did that here and then price moved lower with a strong volume session or week here. Downward movement filled with, ended with a little bit of strength and volume. I think for at least for the short term the trend is up. Let's stick with the weekly chart level for this one. On balance volume, wow, that's quite bullish. Price making lower lows, on balance volume making higher lows. There's a lot of strength in that. Underlying strength in terms of volume. RS or ADX is telling us there is no clear trend. If it turns up, there'd be a downward trend at the weekly chart level. The previous upward trend got very extreme, above 55 and above both DX lines, with RSI and money flow overbought. The downward trend, ADX barely caught up at the weekly chart level. No potential trend change from down to up at this time frame yet. RSI did not reach oversold at that downward movement. And nor did money flow index. Let's have a quick look at the daily chart level at that last low and see is there any strength off that low on the daily chart. So here's the low here. The short term volume profile here, bullish and then not necessarily as bullish, starting to look a little bit bearish to mixed, bullish candlestick pattern off that low. On balance volume, moving up with price, confirming higher movement off that low. ADX at the daily chart level at the moment, no clear trend, but it has recently indicated a downward trend, which there was, and here, an upward trend, mm, but not the strongest signal ADX can give. I'd rather see the black ADX line coming up from low levels below both DX lines. It could be setting up for that if this one moves a little bit lower first. RSI reached over sold. Could be some bullish divergence. The close here 106.4408. The close here 104. So the price closed lower, RSI, a higher low, a little bit of bullish divergence at the low. Money flow index, no bullish divergence, reached oversold after the low. That one's pretty hard to pick. I think I might give that one a miss, it's just not as clear as I'd like to see. And again, I'm trying to be very selective, so... That's a no next to that one. I'm not going to look at Ethereum. I look at that more regularly. I've already looked at that with you. There's um, videos on this website. Next one, Digibyte, weekly, Elliott Wave count, primary two remaining intact, that low. Week beginning 12th of June, invalidation point intact and hasn't been breached. Off this low on the weekly chart, there's a good strong bullish engulfing candlestick pattern here. And let's quickly look for candlestick patterns at the daily chart level. There's a hammer candlestick pattern here, bullish engulfing, lots of long lower wicks, and again long lower wicks, another bullish engulfing candlestick pattern. So plenty of bullish candlestick patterns. Let's look at volume. This bullish engulfing candlestick pattern, the volume 71.1 .1 million, the previous downward week 71.1, .1, really no support from volume, it's the same. That's okay, doesn't have to have that. On balance volume made slightly higher lows, prices making lower lows, on balance volume making higher lows, so that's bullish. ADX at the moment indicating a downward trend for this previous upward trend, very, very extreme above 65. And now here it caught up and said there was a downward trend. RSI didn't reach oversold at that low, no bullish divergence. So ADX not extreme, RSI no divergence, money flow index reaching oversold after that low. ATR continuing to decline up off that low. 
let's have a look at the daily chart I want to look at volume and see if we're starting to see strength off those lows so here's the low with that hammer candlestick pattern we are seeing strength on this session an upward session a strong volume spike and here volume pushing price higher price falls volume declines upward days have stronger volume here's a strong downward set well that's actually an upward session mm. and now volume is declining as price moves slowly lower I would say that's a bullish candlestick pattern I think this is possibly one I could consider I'll put a question mark next to that next one T fuel theta fuel weekly chart Elliott wave first the invalidation point remains intact this last low I'll have to update this Elliott wave count and that's over a 92% correction now primary two could be a single zigzag instead of a double it doesn't really matter now uh, well it kind of does but I don't have time to update the Elliott wave count yet if I need to I'll put a question mark on this one later technicals at the weekly chart level here's the low here's the low and there's a bullish long lower wick this is a doji could almost be a dragonfly doji I think there might be a little bit too much of an upper wick there there's a bullish candlestick pattern here though it's pretty small so not too significant what about volume and there's some good support here 0 0.3037489 volume is starting to show strong volume in upward weeks but it did that here and yet that was followed by more downward movement I would call this volume profile quite bullish actually on balance volume here's the low made lows a very slightly higher low as price made its low starting to move up and probably no single signal if I draw trend channel trend lines ADX told us there was a downward trend it only just reached extreme after the low now it's declining no clear trend RSI almost reached oversold has it done that before no this is the most oversold it's got so that's quite bullish money flow index didn't reach oversold ATR continuing to decline stochastics neutral I think I quite like the look of that one I think I'll put a tick next to that one I might buy a little bit more of that next on the list Hedera hash graph H bar Elliott wave analysis where's my weekly chart it's moved a little bit lower so it's an even oh has this made a new low here this low 0 0.075034 and this low here just last week wow this is really at a could be a historic low but I don't like picking lows um, the price is pretty good but I don't like picking lows I'd rather wait until I see some strength off lows before I try and buy some of this but let's have a look oh, it's only six cents hardly much of a difference really if it goes a little bit lower in the long term plan there's some pretty good support here about what's this one here 0 0.055962 previous resistance up here and here and now support so that's pretty good support what is this candlestick doing this is a dragonfly doji but now the last completed week another red candlestick what's the volume profile doing on the weekly chart mm, bearish down here bullish up here and that was the end of the bull run overall declining quite a lot as price falls bearish in the last couple of uh, bullish in the last couple of weeks possibly slightly probably at least price is falling of its own weight a little bit of a volume spike here just before that low no strength off lows from volume the low would have only been last week my goodness so here the bear market begins on balance volume consistently making higher lows as prices making lower lows that's quite bullish ADX indicated here there was a downward trend declining now no clear trend the previous up trend for this got really extreme over 58 if ADX turns back up again it would indicate a downward trend okay this looks like there's some bullish divergence here the low here point or the close here 0 0.062880 and the close here 0 
sorry, 0.061131. Prices closed lower. RSI has moved higher after reaching oversold on the weekly chart. Has it done that before? At the very beginning. That's actually pretty bullish. Uh, Money flow index reached oversold here. The close 0.067698. The close here lower, 0.061113. Bullish divergence between price and both of RSI and money flow index. ATR declining. Stochastics oversold still. I like the look of that one. I'm going to put a tick next to that one as well. That bullish divergence and low prices. I don't care if it goes down a little bit more because I'm in this for the very long, long term. I'm talking at least five years more XNO nano weekly chart the lows remain intact it's moved a little bit lower since I updated this let's see if there's some strength in here off the slow and I'd have to update that Elliott wave count which I'm not going to do now I'm just having a really quick look at these Okay, daily chart. Let's expand this out so I can see these candlesticks. Piercing pattern here, bullish long lower wicks, huge bearish upper wick here. This looks like a shooting star and another one here. No bullish. Well, this could be a hammer. I'd have to calculate the length of the lower wick. I'm not going to do that now. It does have a bullish long lower wick either way. Up off this low, strongest volume here, green day. Volume is 12.1 million and this session here 11.7 million. So the strongest volume is an upward session. Price is pushing price higher here. Sorry, volume pushing price higher here. Starts to decline, a little bit of sideways movement. A strong spike on this upward session here with that shooting star. Price falls of its own weight. A little bit of push from volume here. And pushing from volume here for upward movement. Volume now pushing price lower, so mixed, not really very clear. We are starting to see some support from volume though. It's uh, not really that heavy though, I think it might be a bit light to really be drawing any conclusions. 2.4 million, that's pretty light. On balance volume making higher lows with price, a higher high here, that's bullish. Oversold at the slow here, a little bit of bullish divergence. The close here, 0.082815. Close here, 0.076. Prices closed lower. Lo, sorry, prices closed lower. On balance volume has moved. Oh, RSI has moved higher. There's a little bit of bullish divergence at that low in conjunction with that hammer candlestick pattern. That's bullish, but is it sustainable? Stochastics neutral. Where's my money flow index? I haven't got it on this one. ATR declining, the DX lines whipsawing, no clear trend. Essentially in a consolidation, this one. Okay, I think I'm going to give that one a miss. It's not clear enough for me. Moving on, XLM. Stella, I like the name of this one. But I'm not going to buy it because I like a name though. That would be a bit silly. Uh, support and resistance. Why do you have to move when I move you? I, when I move the chart. So I want to know, is this slow here sustainable? Week beginning 10th of July. Uh, the Elliott wave count remains intact, or remains valid is a, probably a better way of saying it. The invalidation point's intact. What about volume? Price is pushing price higher up to the high here, and as it moves into the bear market, price is falling of its own weight. Volume pushes price higher. And now as price falls, volume is essentially declining. And now, oh, this is interesting. That's good to see. Let's quickly see. Is that a candlestick pattern on the low? This could be a hammer candlestick pattern. Yeah, it does look like it. And then strength off lows immediately. That is really good to see. But we've seen it here before. And yet price kept falling. So it doesn't mean it can't fall further. It is good to see though. Oh, and balance volume made lower lows with price, no divergence, moving higher now with price, confirming a little upward movement. ADX reached extreme for the downward trend, now declining, no clear trend. RSI probably is exhibiting bullish divergence. Here the close, 0.122747, and here the close, 0.11, price is closed lower, 
RSI has moved higher. There's a little bit of bullish divergence there. It didn't reach oversold though, has it? Ever once back here within a bear market, not at the end. Okay, money flow index has reached a lower low after price. ATR declining, stochastics neutral. I, I'm not sure that that one's really clear enough for me. I'll give that one a pass. Next up, EOS. Oh, I hope I'm not going to regret any of these decisions, but well, you've got to do what you do. A decision has to be made. Okay, it's moved lower since I last analysed it, but not too much, and the invalidation point remains intact, although to be fair, it was pretty much at the starting point, so it hasn't made new lows. What's it doing off these lows? Do we have some technical strength? Let's look at the weekly chart for this. So first of all, I notice a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern here on the daily chart. Does it have support from volume? No, it does not. Let's look at the weekly chart for technicals off this low. What is volume doing off this low? Volume showed a small spike at the low and didn't show support off the low for the first week. It is starting to show some strength and volume again here. But oh, have we seen that before? Uh, at the end of an upward move, oh no, that was a start and some sideways movement. We did here for this upward movement and yet price continued to fall. So again, just because we're seeing strength and volume on upward weeks doesn't mean we can't see lower lows. But it is support from volume. ADX is declining, there's no clear trend, this is the weekly chart level. RSI reached oversold at the low on the weekly chart, has it done that before? Only at the beginning, so that's actually really bullish. The downward trend was extreme. Okay, RSI reached oversold, stochastics in neutral territory as is RSI now. No bullish divergence from RSI. Money flow index, bullish divergence probably, yep, between this close here, 4.33, and this close here, which is slightly higher, 1.35, yeah, a little bit of bullish divergence there, it's well in neutral territory, stochastics neutral, and ATR declining throughout that bear market, starting to show a little bit of an increase here at the end of this little upward push. That's pretty good to see for EOS. I think I quite like that one. I'll put a tick next to that one. Next one, Litecoin LTC. Elliott Wave analysis is still looking good. Oh, this one I like, the Elliott Wave count for this one. A series of three big overlapping first and second waves. This one should show a huge increase in momentum in a few months. They do tend to move slowly off their lows though, so I wouldn't expect to be seeing that immediately. That's a good downward spike here, a good downward spike here. Nice curved looking, it's a little bit of a curve to this one. Looks like a strong bullish candlestick pattern here. I like the chart of that. What about the technicals, weekly chart? Uh, a little bit more support below at 22, that's quite a long way away though. This is a strong bullish candlestick pattern, a bullish engulfing pattern. What do we have at the high? Dark cloud, bearish upper wick. What's this? Probably not a long enough body to be a dark cloud. A hammer here, a uh, dark cloud here. Uh, gravestone doji, almost. Volume for that bullish candlestick pattern? No, not showing an increase in volume. Starting to move up off that low, a little bit of support from volume. And now a little bit of push from volume, pushing price lower in the last couple of weeks. Well, well not the last week, but this week here, beginning 11th of September, showed increased volume. A bullish signal from on balance volume here just after the low. There's some bullish divergence between price and on balance volume here. The close here, 178.688, and the close here, 52.29. On balance volume making higher lows, that's quite bullish at that low. ADX for the downward trend, it's looking a little bit better, more clear a downward trend than some of these others. Now declining, no clear trend. 
RSI just before the low or at the low reached oversold no bullish divergence has it reached oversold on the weekly chart before at the beginning that's very bullish okay I'm liking this one so far money flow index reaching oversold after that low has it reached oversold before no that's extremely oversold conditions for this little pullback here I'm going to read that as pretty bullish it's not done that before so it looks like that could be associated with a strong low stochastics neutral and ATR declining I'm going to put a tick next to Litecoin so I've got five so far what's next TRX Tron Elliott wave count weekly chart two overlapping first and second waves is this over though is this truncated it is no I don't like that at all oh no nope I do not want to see that as a truncated C wave so either intermediate 2 is going to move lower or it was over down here and this is intermediate 1 1 2 3 4 5 this could be a 5 wave structure up so minus C didn't move lower to make that second low intermediate 2 could it be a double combination no not really no and B had to be over there that's the high I don't like that at all it's a terrible wave count Lara and that looks like a five doesn't it mmm I'm not liking the Elliott wave count for Tron actually let's look at the technicals I think this one could go a bit lower yet I don't think the low is necessarily in for this weekly chart the upward trend here bearish engulfing pattern here bullish long lower wick here huge hammer here morning doji star here off those lows support quite strong about 40.046 what's volume doing up off this low no no strength from volume in upward weeks so volumes not supporting upward movement we're not seeing strength off lows the last signal given from on balance volume was bearish at the slow it's making lower lows after price has found that low doesn't mean the low can't be sustained it's just a little bit suspicious RSI didn't reach over sold didn't even really get that close did it has it ever on the weekly chart no looks like there's some bullish divergence though it could have been oversold at the daily chart level I might have to look at that as well for Tron money flow index in neutral territory looks like there's some bullish divergence there too as well the close here 0 0.063966 and the close here 0 0.060 price is closed lower money flow is higher there's some bullish divergence ATR showed an increase at the low that's a little bit bearish it often does that at the end of downward trends now it's declining these move these cryptocurrencies can move slowly and weakly off their lows it could be what's happening there or this could be another counter trend movement and it's moving lower stochastics neutral ADX did it reach extreme for the downward trend no it did not and it is declining no I don't like the look of that one it's not as clear as I would like okay next Shiba Shiba INU this is a very thin chart but goodness it's so cheap oh, I don't know if that's really a good thing though to be honest okay Elliott wave analysis what do we have excuse me didn't mean to grab that only a series of one and two and this has moved lower since I analyzed that so that wave count was wrong I don't like this fourth wave could be a triangle I think the volume here is probably too weak for reasonable technical analysis okay let's just look at the daily chart god it's almost too weak really for candlestick analysis am I wasting my time here am I only chucking a little bit of money at this because it's so cheap possibly possibly a decision I may regret but the amount of money I've thrown at it so far is absolutely minuscule I'd spend more on lunch in a restaurant so if I lose it I just don't care it's a bit of a gamble really there's a bit of strength off the slow and goodness a lot of strength here in upward movement so I'm looking at the daily chart for technicals here on balance volume coming higher off that low with price that's good to see confirming some upward movement 
ADX reached very extreme for that downward trend. Currently declining, the DX line's a little bit of whipsawing there at the daily chart level. RSI oversold at the low quite deeply. No bullish divergence from the looks of it. There was a little bit here, and then it went sideways, but now it's made a lower low. And now recently, RSI also reached oversold. This is a daily chart level, though. Money flow index recently reached oversold. Now some bullish divergence currently. The close here. Oh, how many zeros is that? Five zeros, one, two. And the close here. Five zeros, one, one. So price is closed slightly lower and <laughs> money flow index is higher. I don't know if there's really enough volume for this one to do any real technical analysis. And ATR declining as price falls off the low, starts to show an increase, declines as price goes sideways, shows an increase as price goes higher. Volatility is to the upside. I, I might actually buy just a tiny little bit more of that one. I've only had one purchase in the past. Maybe it's time for a little bit more. That one, that one really is quite a punt though. Two left, Dodge. Dodge coin, Elliott Wave, weekly. Why is this not on a semi-log scale? That's better. Why have I not formatted this chart? Oh, that's why I did monthly for you. One, two, three, four. Could be in a fifth wave. Okay, the weekly chart, the fourth wave moved a little bit lower since I last looked at this. Technicals, weekly chart, here's the last low. I want to look at this on the weekly chart. There's some support here, 0 0.060, bullish candlestick pattern here off the low. Is this an engulfing pattern? The close, 0 0.068503 in the open here. 0 0.069 it's a piercing pattern not an engulfing pattern does it have push from volume no it does not we are not seeing strength and volume off that low it could go lower on balance volume probably quite tightly constrained made higher lows though as price made lower lows in that bear market ADX for this downward trend oh, barely indicated a downward trend toward the end of it. It just took so long to catch up. And now it's declining in the DX lines. A little bit of whipsawing. The negative currently above the positive. Not really very clear there. RSI oversold at that low. Has it done that before in the price history? Only at the beginning. Well that's actually quite bullish. That's good to see. No bullish divergence though. Between price and money flow index there is however. The close here, 0 0.208640, and the close, let's see here, 0 0.08. Yeah, price has closed quite a lot lower, but money flow index has moved quite a lot higher. It hasn't reached oversold first though, although RSI did at the low. ATR declining throughout most of that bear market. Here's the end of the bull market. A little bit of a lag. The bear market starts out with a bit of strength and then ATR shows a huge decline. Volatility is to the upside for this one. That's quite bullish. Still showing some decline. That's okay. They can be weak off their lows, these markets. And stochastics neutral. Well, the only thing I don't like about this one is my Elliott Wave count has it only in a fifth wave. But the fifth waves can be the longest, strongest portion for these markets. So I'll put a question mark next to that one. Okay, very last one, VET. Elliott Wave first, a first and a second wave complete, so still in a really early stage. The candlesticks look a bit better for this one. The low remains intact, the wave count looks okay. I quite like the look of that one. Oh, is there an overlap here? Let's just check. No, there isn't. Okay, technical analysis, weekly chart for VET. I'm looking at this low, and there's good support here at 0 0.0207. So at this low, this is a bullish piercing pattern. It does not have support from volume, but we are starting to see some support from volume in here. We saw it quite strongly here, though, for some upward weeks, and yet price continued lower. So again, it doesn't mean 
that price can't make lower lows. Let's put it in conjunction with everything else. On balance volume makes slightly higher lows, a little bit of bullish divergence there. Now starting to move higher with price, confirming that a little bit of upward movement. RSO 80x for this downward trend. Why am I doing that? I don't know. 80x. Let's see, upward trend, declining, declining, didn't catch up with that trend change until it was at the low. And this was a strong bearish signal. It's now slightly increasing, indicating again a downward trend. So that downward trend didn't get extreme. RSI did not reach oversold, has it ever? No. Oh, it is at the lowest point it's ever been though. So that's actually fairly bullish. So this trend was the most extreme downward trend this market's ever had, VE chain. Uh, money flow index reached oversold after that low. Um, ATR declining, still declining after the low. That's okay, they can be weak off their lows. Um, I think I think that one could be. I'll put a question mark next to that one. Okay, so conclusion, XRP, yes. T Fuel, yes. Hedera Hashgraph, yes. EOS, yes. Litecoin, yes. Shiba as a punt, yes. With question marks on Digibyte, Dogecoin, and VE Chain. Those are my conclusions for my own purposes. Um, you can use that or not use that uh, as you see fit. Thank you so much for watching this rather long video and thank you for your support.